Ford says the long-awaited arrival of its new Focus will reignite interest in this slow-selling small car. But with a list price almost $4,000 more than segment leaders like the Toyota Corolla and Mazda 3, we're not sure the more is more approach will achieve anything like the numbers the model needs to regain face. Ford says the new Focus is safer and better equipped than the five-year-old model it replaces. It's also fitted with a new turbocharged petrol engine that promises more power and better fuel economy. But there's no diesel variant available, and the manual model is as expensive as some of its automatic rivals. The new Focus is now powered by a single engine option, Ford's turbocharged 1.5-litre four-cylinder EcoBoost unit, making 7 kilowatts and 38 newton metres more than the outgoing 2-litre. It also uses a litre less fuel per 100 kilometres and offers idle stop technology for the first time. Well, Ford's made no secret about the stiffer suspension of the new Focus, and while it does make the car more agile dynamically, we can't help but notice that the ride is very firm, which has taken a little bit away from what was a rather comfortable package, especially on the 18-inch wheels of this titanium variant. On the plus side, this 1.5-litre turbocharged engine is a brilliant little thing. It feels every bit as strong as the two litre it replaces. It's quite rorty higher up in the piece. But again, on the downside, the automatic transmission, when you put the boot into overtake, there is just a little bit of a delay. The stability control and electric steering systems have also been revised, while alloy wheels and a reversing camera now feature as standard across the range. Flagship titanium variants add autonomous emergency braking blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert, as well as leather appointed seats. Ford's SYNC 2 infotainment system is also offered across the range. The 8 inch touchscreen allows access to vehicle settings, phone, entertainment and navigation menus through the four corners of the home page. SatNav is included on all model grades and all Focus variants are eligible to participate in Ford's lifetime cap price servicing scheme. Ford's also retuned the steering of the Focus, the electric system's now a little bit quicker to react from the dead spot on centre, and there's a little bit more assistance, but that assistance hasn't completely come at the cost of road feel. It's still an agile little car and points very accurately into corners. But in spite of the feel at the wheel and the obviously high equipment levels, we still think the Focus is too expensive to achieve the sales numbers it so desperately needs.